1968, an estimated one million eyewitnesses claimed to see the vision of a woman hovering over this church in Zaytun. Two mechanics working at night thought they saw a nun preparing to commit suicide. They ran for a priest who realized that what they were seeing may be more fantastic than they could have possibly imagined. The priest ran and came quickly, and of course, he realized what was going on. She was not standing on the roof, she was standing in the air. Carrie Mellick is a doctor living in Rockville, Maryland. He was in Egypt at the time and saw for himself what many believe was hovering above the church. I saw a light in the southwest dome. This light began to increase immensely, and suddenly I saw the Virgin Mary standing in front of the dome. These are actual photographs taken at Zaytun. Mary is said to be the sphere of light at the top. According to legend, Zaytun is where Mary Joseph and the baby Jesus once sought refuge. Whatever it is we are seeing here, Malik was not alone in witnessing this alleged apparition firsthand. Everyone in the field of vision saw her. Whether he's a Christian, a Muslim, a good man, a bad man, whoever. Everyone in the field of vision saw her. We interviewed uh, over 100 uh, witnesses. Uh, and many, most of these witnesses, we do not believe even know each other, but yet they gave very, very similar accounts of what they saw. John Jackson has been studying the Zaytun photographs for many years. And they look uh, as though they are recording an actual event. And then the photographic records uh, correlate very nicely with what the eyewitnesses claim that they have seen. The apparitions lasted four years and left an enduring impression on all who were there. I describe myself as a, a, a person who uh, uses logic and, and thinks rationally. I am a scientist, but uh, you can't deny what you see with your own eyes.